Okay, yeah, so, so going back to the spline. With a spline tool, you have to uh, just start somewhere and then left click and drag. So I'm gonna start right up here on the top and then zoom out. And then I'm going to put one point right about there and maybe another point right about there and there we go. So the splines are funny and I'll show you uh, something about them. So I'm actually gonna double click uh, on that last point and end right there. There you go. And then you're out of the spline tool. Um, so you can go back and change elements of the spline. Now watch this. Escape, sorry. You can move these points around to kind of change the uh, contour of the spine afterwards, which is handy to do to try and really get your the shape that you're looking for. And these are also control points and you can uh, make those longer or reduce their size and it makes the curve more continuous. Let me see if it has an edit option here. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with that as my first start. So I'm going to take it. And what I just have to do is put a line at the bottom to close this profile out. There we go. Now I can uh, extrude this. So I'm done with the sketch. And I'm going to extrude it. And this time, not blind, but um, symmetric. So it'll go both ways and I will pull it out to right about there. I think the actual car does something similar to that. Yeah, you can see from this view, it actually has a contour around that edge too. But I'll put that uh, chamfer on it here. So a total of, we'll say 2.25 inches, how about that? Nicer. Round it up. And then I'll put that chamfer on there. Okay. Uh, so we could go back and change that profile later to make it a little bit more, uh, give it a little bit more contour. Um, but right now I'm just going to leave that and say that that's a good start there. Um, and you can see it, what it will look like more in 2D or in 3D in real life by hitting this turn perspective on and you can kind of start to get a view of it. Now I made mine a little longer than their model and that's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to work with that. And maybe even talk a little bit about why I did that. Okay, so uh, let me go back to the picture here. I think at this point I could work on this fascia, but I'd also like to start working on those wheels. But maybe I'll go back to the front so we could finish that. So I'm actually all flipped over here. I'm going to go flip this back around. There we go, front. I'm going to take that 2D perspective off so I can view it straight on here. All right, so um, yeah, it's got that uh, U shape uh, upside down kind of grill that goes along here. So I'll just select that plane right there. New sketch. And this time I'll probably just put in a two point rectangle. And you'll see that I'll probably want to dimension this and it looks like it's going to be a two inch. One on each side. 